Hey, what is up guys? I hope you all are having an awesome day. Today, I want to talk a little bit more about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered because lately I've seen on Twitter and Reddit these little chat messages come up between Amazon, Walmart, and even Target customer service reps. And I'm sure most of you guys have seen them too, or you may have even sent them to me over on Twitter. But before we get into that really quick, guys, this is probably going to be the last video I post about Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, mainly because I feel this topic has been beaten down too many times on the channel and we really don't have any type of confirmation whatsoever so like I said last time we discussed this here until some official word comes out now I'm gonna have some of these messages on screen for you guys right here and I'm just gonna be completely blunt with you guys these customer service reps don't know anything they sometimes will even tell you things you may want to hear in order for you to come back to their site and make a purchase so from now on anytime you see these live chats with customer service reps asking about a pre-order or modern warfare to re mastered in general or if the game will have multiplayer don't even bother with it i even asked the customer service rep myself the homie siraj here said he doesn't have any information on this so again guys i wouldn't get my hopes up just yet here but there is something you may want to keep your eyes peeled for and it's a special announcement that activision is going to be making up possibly tomorrow because they do love to drop some news on tuesdays for some reason uh, but over on twitch activision hosted a live stream with the editorial manager kevin kelly and he said that they will be making an announcement sometime by the end of the month. I'm going to go ahead and play the clip on screen for you guys right now. Uh, will there be any announcement in March? Yes, there will be something announced in March. Will I post something on YouTube? That's a good question. No, probably not. Well, there may be a trailer if this for this announcement. The announcement, when it happens, will you'll see it on Instagram. You'll see it on Twitter, Facebook, on the blog. I did not say COD players will be happy about the announcement. Because it's not COD related. Or is it? <laughs> so if anything, tomorrow could be an announcement of some sorts. He does say that COD fans may be unhappy and then it's not COD related. Or is it? I'm gonna go with it isn't because there were some leaks that said Spyro the Dragon Remastered will be coming out towards the end of the month or the announcement for that will be coming out. So that's what I'm gonna bet my money on. And also apparently there are some concrete evidence of it. So uh, I don't know. I guess I'm 90% sure that it's gonna be that tomorrow. But I mean, who knows? Maybe we will get a surprise, but I wouldn't bet money on that. It could also be DLC 2 for Call of Duty World War 2, uh, but we shall see what happens, guys, tomorrow or possibly later in the week. Also, one thing to note, during the stream, the chat kept on asking about Modern Warfare 2, and then he kept on bringing up some of the Call of Duty items on stream, and then at one point he even brought down some of the little night vision goggles. Uh, but the thing I'm trying to make here is he didn't deny Modern Warfare 2 Remastered, so maybe that's something to look at. But even Robert Bowling, who was the former community head over at Infinity Ward who designed Modern Warfare 2, has commented on the campaign only leak, and he completely agrees with what the community feels. And he says it's like driving a car with without an engine where's the fun if you can't pick up your friends and you know it's kind of the same thing here you know where's the fun if you're only going to be remastering one part of the game i agree with him too but you know at the same point in time again i don't really care if there is going to be a, a multiplayer side of the game i'm not going to get it if there isn't because i have already played the campaign and in total i think the play time isn't even that long i can also go ahead and put in my old mw2 disc into my 360 and get the same experience it's a waste of money if if you ask me uh, but I guess if you are a big achievement hunter then go ahead and spend your money but for me it's a no actually it's a hell no if you ask me uh, I'd rather spend my money on COD points honestly at the end of the day but yeah guys that's how I feel I just wanted to bring you guys to this update just in case you guys weren't aware of these so tell me your thoughts about this down below in the comments also drop a like if you guys did enjoy the video and thank you for watching until next time I'll see you later